Welcome to my secret math tutor. I'm going to show you how you can compute the future amount for compound interest. All right, so in order to do so, we need this lovely formula right here. And all the variables in it, let's go ahead and take a look at them. This says the future amount A is equal to P, the principal, times 1 plus R is the rate divided by N, where N is the number of times it is compounded per year. And then this is raised to a power of n times t. So n is that number of times of compoundings per year again, and t is the number of years. So let's go ahead and look at my example and see where I need to put all of the pieces. So I want to know what is the future amount of investing $5,000 at 2% interest compounded quarterly for five years? Okay. So I want to know what is the future amount when I invested $5,000. That's my principal. My rate is 2%. Make sure you write that as a decimal. And this says it's compounded quarterly. That means four times a year, the interest is compounded. So let's put that on the bottom. Okay. Now let's take care of the exponent. That's four times the number of years. And it looks like this is going for five years. All right, so we have all of our pieces in the right spot. Now we just have to take care of it. One thing I recommend is maybe taking care of what's inside parentheses and maybe taking care of that exponent. So if you take care of just inside parentheses, that part is 0 0.005. And then if you look at the exponent, 4 times 5, well, that's just 20. All right? Continue evaluating this. Take the point 1.005 to the 20th, multiply by 5,000. And this will give you 5,524, 4, 7, 7, 8, and looks like it just keeps going on and on. Now since this is talking about money, we want to round this to the nearest cent. Okay? So we look at the 7, that's where we want to round it. Look to the digit right next to it. The 7 is higher than 5, so we're going to round up the 7. This tells us that the future amount is going to be 5,524 and 48 cents. If you'd like to see more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.